That was that was insane. I, I I that that was that was insane. Okay, let me let me uh let me quit out and I'm going to fix the chat real quick. There we freaking go. Let's go. All right, chat's fixed. Unfortunately, that does mean I am playing in windowed mode now. So, but you know what? I was playing. F I was doing fine in windowed mode. Oh my god! What the heck kind of text wall did you just? Put in my face, Kevin. Words themselves carry an innate power, but they are worth mu they are worth much less than the words of those who carry a her heretical 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 her her heretical. Oh, it even tells you how much playtime you have for each character. Oh, that's so cute. So I've spent an hour, about two hours, with Remu. Obviously 10 hours with Yomu because that's, you know, my the first shot I used. Sanai took 50 minutes for my first 1cc, and Marissa took an hour. So I beat- I did Sanai quicker than I did Marissa. Which, yeah, that, that adds up. Sanai could maybe need more than one attempt, but Marissa should be do more than doable. So, if I can do- I can put an attempt- it's still there? What do you mean it's still there? Are you ready? Let's let's go and try to do this with Marissa. If I can do this with Marissa, I will consider that a success. And if we don't get it today, there's always next time. There's no rush. I'm a little scared to get close with Marissa because she's so she's so jittery. And yo, we did we did the entire we we did we did Raymu without even screaming once. I consider that a success. I, I'm not a big fan of Marissa. Look at look at our spirit gauge. It didn't get filled very much. You said that um, lasers do more damage than missiles, right? Like, one laser does more damage than one missile. Yeah? But then um, later on, once we get to full power, um, it's impossible to hit all your missiles, so it's just better to use missiles instead of lasers. It's impossible to hit all your lasers, that's what I meant, when you get to full power. What the? It got auto-modded? Oh! Naughty naughty Let me see what you said. <laughs> oh, this is, it's always it's always funny to see what the auto mod picks up because it's always something stupid, dude. Is it really Marissa if you're not reading her voice with a hillbilly accent? Hillbilly is 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 considered bad? Are you gonna block the word bumpkin too? <laughs> the the HB word is bad, but I guess bumpkin is fine. I didn't set it to do that, by the way. That's just the default settings. I think it. I think it doesn't allow you to say. I think. Oh, I think it blocks the word butt. It blocks the word b u t t. If I remember correctly, try typing that. I I'm pretty sure it blocks it. But oh, it works. It works. I swear somebody got blocked for that. Is it because I allowed it? I swear to God, I somebody got blocked for saying for saying butt. It was it was super weird. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Maybe it was the word ass. I don't know. You're the one. Oh, family, Fammy can vouch for me. I know it was Fammy. Fammy got Fammy got blocked for saying butt. It was so stupid, dude. The the auto mods default settings are a little aggressive. I'm gonna have to open it up and see like what 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 its deal is, like what 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 you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say. I I because I never looked at it. I don't know how you can set it up. I've I've never really looked at. It. I was just like, oh yeah, that's probably something I should do. I don't want somebody like going in and spamming the n word in chat, especially now that I'm showing chat in my in my stream. But, like, hillbilly? Like, that's not... Like, you can say hillbilly in my chat. I veto that decision. Stupid. You're too quiet! <laughs> You're the one that's too loud. It's way too early. I don't know how to do a hillbilly accent. <laughs> okay, Mer... Okay. Okay, Kyoko, I'm not even gonna get close to you. That You're, you're, you're scary. Can I get close? Oh no, I can't. That's right. She'll scream in my face. I would like to sit on her head, but I oh, I should practice that. At the very least, I should practice that with Sanai. I can get so many spirits doing that. Whoa! Why does it? Why is does is is that does that barrier start so far down? Good lord! I wish it would start a little higher up, man. Uh, where are you off to? 
She mentioned a graveyard behind the temple. Feels a little awkward messing around with near graves, though. Does that work? Was that a good hillbilly voice? I don't know. I've never, tr I never, I've never tried to do a hillbilly voice before. If anyone can do it, it should be me. I'm from Alabama. I should be able to. I, I should be able to do it. <laughs> I kind of want to play a different game, another Vertoa game. After this, EOSD sounds like a good idea. Or play Lenin. I'd have to download it. I don't have it in my. I don't have it yet. <laughs> You could maybe do, uh, shoot the bullet. Ooh, good idea. I could go to Perfect Cherry Blossom. If I go to Perfect Cherry Blossom, I could try to get a 1cc there and prepare myself for an extra run. It would be interesting to come back to a game that I cleared a long time ago because, you know, I'm sure I've improved so much since then. The patterns will probably look a lot easier than they used to. I'll be like, man, I can't believe I used to st I, I used to struggle with this. Holy crap. Oh, I know the reason why I had so many bombs. It's because I literally didn't use them. I, I, I took so many unnecessary deaths, so all of my lives just stayed in my inventory. That's why they that's why I had so many. If I was further away from trans, maybe I would try to grab some of those spirits, but it's not worth it. Also, Marissa has a bad case of the zoomies, so going up there would be really dangerous. Oh my god, I captured it anyway. That's crazy. <laughs> Marissa just barely does enough damage to kill her anyway. That's that's hilarious. And now for the best track in the entire game. Let's go. Let's go. Accelerating Luxury. Dude, that's such a good name for this too. Oh my god. I never thought- I have I even looked at the title before? Dude, that's such a good name. You called? <laughs> Once you become a corpse, you can't die any further than that. What? Who are you? What time is it? Still morning. An early riser. Good girl, good girl. Now, now. Can you handle another round with this girl who has absorbed all the divine spirits gathered around the tomb? Guess there's no choice. You want to kill the general? Shoot his horse! Prepare yourself! Dude, what is that? That is a- is that a reference to something? Like, I've never heard this phrase in my life, dude. That must be like some war reference. I mean, I- I- it kind of makes sense, I think. I think. Because without his horse, he can't run away. I guess? I guess that's the point? Ooh! Okay. Good bomb, good bomb, good bomb. Oh my goodness. This this fight did not go as well as the other one did. But it's okay. At least we didn't die and lose our trance. So we can make up for it by getting some resources in the next stage. I'm just going to play ring around the rosy with her. I don't like the, I don't I don't like Soga. These arrows can be really annoying if you don't do this. We're doing good. Look at my resources. Look at this. Hey! I think we can do this. Fanny, I, I think I think this is the one. This should be this should be easily doable. Famous last words. I know, right, Kevin? I hope I don't regret saying that, but I mean, you know, I could always screw up at Miko. I could always screw up at Mononobe too. To be fair, on my when I did this with Reimu, the Sega fight, Mononobe fight, and Miko fight were all unusually good. Yeah, it's not over. I'm definitely. Yeah, the Sega fight this time was actually pretty much as expected. So, this Mononobe fight, let's see how it goes. Let's not count our chickens before we hatch, right? Before they hatch, I mean. Am, am I gonna scream? You're- you should not be hoping I scream. You should be hoping that I succeed and that we move on to a more interesting game. Alright? <laughs> I'm, I'm also- I, I am getting kind of tired though. So actually, even if I get this, I don't think I have it in me to do Sanai. As much as I want to get it over with. Also, um, oh shit. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! It's starting, it's starting. Um, I- oops. God dang it. I accidentally hit the bomb button. Oh, dude. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It Ow! Okay. Wow, like I said, it's never too late. It's never too late. I basically wasted both my bombs. Because, eh! Because uh, the first bomb was me accidentally hitting it, and then the second time I didn't actually get to use my bomb. So... Oof. 
Yeah, this is not a great mono no bait fight. We're still at four lives, and if we make it to four lives going into uh, Miko, that'll be good. And nothing stupid happens. Well, there goes my last bomb. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay! I'm not getting that life piece, I guess. My hands are so cold, too, dude. They've been cold this entire time. I'm surprised I did so well with Reimu. I should always play with cold hands. Heck. Four lives going into this final stage. Wish me luck, guys! This is gonna sound a little funny, but I don't think it's worth any effort. It's I don't think it's worth the effort to, um... Yeah, I actually don't think it's worth the effort to... To, um... Hold on, I gotta focus, because with Marissa, you can't kill these guys very well. So you're kind of forced to dodge these lasers. Damn! All right, it's okay. It's okay. I did get a I get I did get a bomb piece, so that's okay. I don't think we're gonna get another life, but it's okay. Oh, did he for gore? What I for gore? What? What I for gore? I didn't for gore anything. We're at two bomb. We're at two bomb pieces. So if we get all the bomb pieces on Miko, we will be able to make it to three when we die. What was I about to say? What was I about to say? I was about to say something. Uh oh. What was I saying? You don't know? Uh, must not have been important then. <laughs> At the stage six opener, dude has amnesia. Dude, no I don't. I do not have amnesia, bro. I just, I was, I, there was a rain of bullets coming down on me. I had to, I had to survive. This is not great, but we have to make do with what we got. I'm gonna have to do everything I can. This one, I am going to have to play by the book. And probably, um, unfortunately, this whole death strategy does have downsides. It does have downsides. The downside being that my power drops every time I die, right? I think that's one of the reasons why the Miko fight went so well with Reimu, was because I never died. So, until the very end. Because I never died until the very end, I was able to stay at full power for the whole thing. So I didn't have to survive for the spells for very long. Won't you need to get one of the bomb pieces with trans? No. No, because she, she'll give me six bomb pieces. I might do it as a safety precaution, but I shouldn't have to. Hold on this stage lasers. Um... Oh, I was just saying that um, I don't think I need to worry about gathering resources in this stage because... I'm, I'm, I'm fine at four lives, but... Oh no, we got an extra bomb during our death, during trance after we died, and then we got a refill of bombs, so it didn't even matter. Whatever. This is it. Wish me luck, guys. Not only are my hands cold, my feet are cold as well. Sheesh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's gonna be a little dangerous if I have to bomb, because it, I can actually- I can miss a, uh, bomb piece. Because- because, uh, Marissa moves so slowly. Oh, I touched the bottom! Shit. Alright, we got- we got an extra bomb piece, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's unfortunate. Okay. What spell is this? Oh, it's this one. I should have no problems with this, but I might have to use a bomb. I will use it if, if I'm in- if I'm scared. Okay, nice. Ooh! Okay, it's fine. Move. Oh, oh god! Okay. Eternal Meek. Careful. Careful. Don't grab the bomb after this. Because that'll put me at one. I have to die first. Okay. I have to die first before picking up a bomb. Otherwise, I screw myself. Oh my god. I'm doing so well. Okay, this is it. Oh god! No! I forgot about trans mode! Tr 
Trance mode fucks you! Trance mode actually fucks you! Zoom Cox blocks you by enforcing you to use trans mode when you die. I was wondering how Zoom was going to stop you from abusing that. Oh my god. So you so I had to die during defiance. I couldn't I couldn't just run into Miko like I had planned. You have to die during defiance cuz otherwise the bomb piece will just disappear while you're in trans. Zune is a massive troll for doing that. Well, like, Z Zune, is, Z Zune is a massive troll. <laughs> I'm glad that I learned that during the Marissa run, because that was, I, I was about to win. I mean, I can definitely do it again. It's not that big of a deal. But, like, I'm glad I learned that in the Marissa run and not the Sinai run. So I have to die on Defiance. If I, I, I have to die on Defiance and not on, uh, and, and, and not during during the final spell god damn it oh that was good though that was that was good shoot dude now i have to do that all over again can i just rewind like can, can we just pretend that didn't happen oh dude <laughs> oh i hate you zune i hate you I, I hate that you did that to me. I, I hate I hate that you did that to me. I really wish that I had practiced more so that I could have discovered that not in a run. Here we go again. I'm gonna put one more attempt and if I if if, if I even so much as have have an slight inconvenience in this run, I'm just gonna end it and I'm gonna chill and relax. Oh no, he's going to end it all at the slightest inconvenience. I sure hope that doesn't happen in the most engaging Toe game to watch and play. I mean, the, the game that makes me literally fall asleep every single time I play it. Like, dude, this game is like... I don't know. At first, like, when I was first playing it, it was pretty chill. It was good. It was it was better than UFO. You know, I... Le you know, I... Okay, you know what? I, I have to say, at least it's not UFO, okay? UFO made me made me rip my hair out, okay? But so at least at least it's not doing that to me. Alright, so you know. But I kinda wish it was a little more engaging. Like even if you look like nobody's in chat, because like nobody wants to watch this shit. This is such a boring game. <laughs> like I don't know, it's just like I don't know. You just sit around, everybody knows what these first couple levels look like, you know? Not really fun to play, they're not really fun to watch. You know what you have to do, it's just a matter of are you gonna do it or not? And it's not even like really that frustrating when you die, it's just like, oh I got hit by Kyoko, she stepped on me. Which was funny at first, but now it's just kind of like, oh I kind of expect it. But, oh, okay. But like, you see, it's it's just not entertaining. I've also gotten a lot better at it. So I'm not like taking as much risk as I did. Like I'm sitting in her hitbox right now and it's not even like, it's not as risky as it used to be. Like that scream that happened just a minute ago, that was the most entertaining thing to happen. And now it's done. It's like, you know, didn't even last that long, you know, and it's and it wasn't even anything new, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of like I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm at a point like in UFO where I'm I'm kind of done. I don't really want to. I'm I'm like I've seen I, I've seen what this game has to offer. You know, it's not even like Imperishable Night. You know how excited I got about spell practice. I was so excited about that. I'm not even using it. I never even used it. I didn't even really use the practice patch either. I never needed it. In Imperishable Night, like I had to, I had to pick it up, right? Like in Imper well, you guys weren't here for that, but like when I, like when I was playing Imperishable Night, spell practice was such a big deal because I was like, oh my god, I can finally get to practice all these difficult spells. But like, 
Where are the difficult spells? <laughs> like, like, where are they? Nobody needs spell practice? Well, I really liked sitting down and just mastering a spell. I, I really liked that in Imperishable Night. But, like, in this game, I feel like I've pretty much mastered all the spells and I haven't even used it. <laughs> Okay, I mean, okay, well, Defiance, I haven't mastered it yet. And I did use spell practice for it. But that's, like, the exception. Okay, like, there's Miko. And then that's it. <laughs> like, in Imperishable Night, like, I had to practice Marissa. I had to practice Raisin. I had to practice Reimu. Eren. I even had to practice Kaguya. You know? You know? I, I think there was even one of Kainé's spells that I look that I took a look at in um in in the spell practice mode. It was fun, and it was very it was very rewarding too because you would spend so much time in practice mode, you know, learning the patterns, and then you would get to um and then you would get to the run where you finally actually get to do it, and then. You know, it was it was rewarding because like you get there and then it was you you felt really good and it was still not free. You know, I only practiced enough to feel comfortable, and it was still not free. And not only that, but I didn't have practice packs, so it was only spells. Didn't help me at all with the nons. I still had to do the nons through stage practice. I mean, it helped. I mean, practicing defiance is helping me a lot with this parallel run. My consistency with it is a lot better. I'm able to survive on it longer. So that's really helping for these parallel endings. Yeah, when people said that 10 Desires was easy, I did not know that it was this easy. I did not know it was this easy. Proceeds to fail at the last spell. And it, well, my failure wasn't even because I, w w wasn't even because of a skill issue or me getting hit by a bullet. It was, uh, it was due to a lack of information. Literally due to me not knowing that, it, it came down to me not knowing that trans mode was gonna fuck me. That was not, that was not something that I had calculated. <laughs> I remember you suggested to me, like, why don't I bomb through it and then just take a hit in the in the last spell and then get the bomb. And it dawned on me. I was like, yeah, you're right. I should do it. Now I know why I shouldn't do it. I'm not that not that I'm blaming you for that at all. Like, it's it seems like a good idea, right? Like I heard it, and I was like, because I never thought about it before. You know what I should play afterwards to chill? What? I'm open. I'm open. I've got I've got like a couple hours to just vibe I've, if I get this run. Even if I don't get this run, I can do it next time. I kind of I'm kind of tohoed out to be honest. Pretty sure you saw amnesia on my Switch. You did, in fact, see amnesia on my Switch. Want me to play it? <laughs> I'm trying to remember how long that game is. I mean, it's that's a pretty short game. Pretty it's, it's good. I've it's it's I, I it's it's a classic. I've I've beaten it all I've beaten it a few times. Would it would be nice to go through it again. <laughs> you wanna see me scream. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything in that game that's even remotely scary to me anymore. But I mean I I, I can vibe through it. I don't know how much of it we'll get through though, because I, I kinda I don't cause uh, the game is I mean it's pretty short. But it's uh not that short. Ooh, that's cool. This spell is really spooky. I don't like it. It, 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 it sometimes, it sometimes, you know. Although it's kind of entertaining, but I don't know. Uh, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's really nerve-wracking. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> the completionist part of me will surely enjoy Lenin 4's achievements? Uh-oh. If I even get there, we'll have to see. Depends on if I enjoy Lennon or not. This is good. We got five lives, three bombs. This is this is a this is a re really good run.
Nice! This is an even better run than the last one. Dude. Let's go! Oh, this is gonna be kind of uneventful like the Reimu run was, unfortunately. The other, the other run was a lot cooler. That's sad. Cool, yeah, I know. Just cool. <laughs> I can't even say that I'm... Am I having fun? I don't know. I'm just kind of just chilling with this game. Just waiting for the run to happen. Yeah, don't fuck up at the end. Yeah, please. I'm surprised that the Automod didn't kick you for that. That's... Automod's been weird today, but it's it, it thinks the word fuck is cool. <laughs> cool. No! Still struggling? Yeah? Let's put off Amnesia for a bit. Well, you we can do that next time. I'm really determined to get this done today, because I just do not want to do- I just don't want to do 10 Desires anymore. So I don't want to, you know, have to spend, you know, more time on this. Exactly how you felt when trying to finish Lenin. Yeah, I just want to be done with this, man. The next time I come here, I really don't want to have to do both Marissa and Sanai. I just want to do Sanai, however bad that may be, and be done. And just be done. Because both, both runs that I just had, those were both complete runs. Like, I, I succeeded. 
I practically succeeded. The game just stole it from me. Both times. God. I don't know the top method, so I don't know how to get that, but... Uh... I've got lots of resources though. I discovered something about this level. Apparently more enemies spawn if you kill the enemies fast enough. That's a new thing I just discovered while I was angry. So angry that I wasn't talking. <laughs> Interesting, but maybe that'll help in the Sanai run. Remember the faster you kill the enemies, the more spirits they drop. Yes indeedy. Thank you for the reminder. That's a little dangerous. I don't like that. She might step on me. I'm just going to take my time here. Okay. And welcome the brown crown. Welcome. We just had two failed runs due to my stupidity. I was very, very close. Both times. Both times I literally would have gotten the run uh, um, had, had things not gone wrong. We made it all the way to Miko with plenty of lives to spare. No possible way to fail. And then we ended up grabbing a bomb when we when when we didn't need it. It was very very bad. <sighs> Today my lucky day. For a normal mode player, your gameplay is pretty hardcore. We're going for the parallel ending, so that means I have to finish with three bombs in the pocket. <sighs> and I'm also doing all shot types. So we've already done this with Yomu was the first one I did it with, and Reimu was the second. So I've already gotten one CC with all four characters. 
This is my second time doing it, but I'm going for the par parallel endings now. So I'm getting all the resources I can so that I can use all the bombs. And then I just need to finish with three bombs. It, with three bombs remaining. So literally like for Miko's last two spells, I have to not use a bomb. That's basically what's going on. But I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, complimenting my, my game by play. Sometimes I feel like I absolutely suck at this game. It kind of, you know, kind of feels a little good to have be a little validated sometimes. Everybody's always trolling me. <laughs> oh, God! I play really, really risky in the early stages because... They're the early stages, and I can be risky, but now that we're in stage three, I'm gonna be a little bit less risky. Um, I don't have trans for this, unfortunately. I don't think I can get it either, no matter how hardcore I go, so I'll just take it slow. I say that even, and yet I st I'm still hugging the top. Okay. Yeah, I don't have trans for this, unfortunately. Um. I don't think it's worth a bomb? That's just... Okay. That's that. That's fine. I got something out of it. And we'll have, we'll have a full trance, assuming I don't die, um, for the end of the stage. For sure. Which means we won't have to upskirt Kogasa. So that's a good thing. <sighs> Alright. Oh no, I just said I don't have to upskirt her. I don't have to be risky here. Because I already missed the uh, first area where I could get resources. But yeah, welcome. I've beaten all of the games from EOSD to uh, up to up to this one. Um. Oh, I should have used it there. Oh my gosh. Is it worth it to use it here too? I'll use it here. Why not? I don't. We'll start building up another one. Because I believe it's good to use it at the beginning of stage 4 as well. If, I, if, if my memory serves me pro correctly. Although my memory's pretty shit, so... <laughs> okay. Let's grab that. But yeah, I've beaten... Um, uh, I started with Toho 6, and then I, um, and then I went all the way up. Um, the last game I beat was UFO. That was a disaster. I did all shot types. My goal is to get all the endings. So that means, for most of the games, that means getting, doing all the shot types. Not everybody has the patience to milk bosses, at least I don't. <laughs> well, I do. Because I need, I need all the resources I can get. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. I'm at... I'm at 5 out of 12. I might actually get my 18 life piece here. That would be a... That would be a first if I actually managed to get the 18 life piece. Because I've never gotten it before. So that would actually make this my best routing yet. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this Yoshka fight goes. Also, my... Oh, no. If I, I have to milk Yoshka if I want to have Trans ready at the beginning of Stage 4. I don't really want to do that. Oh, God. I really don't want to milk Yoshka. Because that's so scary. No, I don't want to do that. That's too, that's, that's too much for me, man. I think she's... I don't think I'm capturing it this time. No, it's not happening. I'm just gonna chill. Let's just, uh, wait it out. That's unfortunate, because that means I miss out on a life piece. But it's okay. Is she gonna go left or right? Okay, she went... 
Oh god! Okay. You got the lunatic of this game, not because of your skill, but because of Yomu? Yeah, Yomu was my first choice because I, uh, I didn't know how her shot type was gonna work. But, you know, because I'm gonna- because I'm going for all shot types anyway, um, I decided to go with Yomu first, and I also hadn't seen Yomu in such a long time, so I was like, I- I'm- I was excited to see her, man. So I was like, yeah, Yomu! She was really hard to- hard to use. God dang it, dude. Oh god! Okay. I'm scared to get under her. Okay, go. Go. Oh god. Okay, if you want to sit there, I'm just gonna time you out. I don't even- I don't even care. You- you, you want- you want to sit over there and- okay. You're, are you coming here? Alright. Um, my trans is nowhere near full. I'm not gonna go for this. I'm just gonna chill. Maybe I'll do enough damage to actually kill her, but I don't... I don't know. I'm not gonna actually go for this. If my transmeter was closer to three, then I might actually go for the spirits up top. But it's it's just not worth it right now. No matter how much spirits I get, I'm not getting to a full trance. So you don't get a life piece out of this either. So it, it doesn't... Oh, wow. I captured it. <laughs> uh, is Yomu in this game that cracked? Yomu was pretty good. She was hard to use, but I actually really liked her. She did Her damage output was really great. I, I, I found her to be really useful. Man, everybody's showing up now. Hey, guys. What's up? She's so powerful she can kill Sega MIG boss with a single trans? Seriously? Holy crap. Damn. But yeah, Yomu. I, I, I was really impressed with Yomu. She's really difficult to to get used to, but I, I, I did not regret using, picking her. For, I, well, I kind of did because she was hard to use. Reimu made me feel like, oh, this is really easy to control, it's what I'm used to, but Yomu definitely has a lot of potential. I'm definitely not tapping into it, like, I'm, because, you know, this is my first time playing the game, even though I got the parallel ending with, with Yomu, but I, I can definitely feel that Yomu is really, really strong, if you can use her well. So, unfortunately, my transmeter's not full, which means I'm gonna miss out on, uh, on the, uh, first air thing here. Let's try to- let's- that's leech. Let's try to get- try to get trans. As much trans as possible. And these lasers really don't feel very, very powerful. I heard, I, I think someone told me that they are stronger, like one laser is stronger than one missile, but because you don't land all of your lasers, because of the way that they spread, they don't, they don't do as much damage. And I really feel that. I uh, I don't know if milking Sega is really the smartest idea. I no, it's it's too scary. I don't know. It's it, I I I don't feel comfortable doing it. Let's just do what I know. Okay. 
Marissa has the shotgun damage. I, I theorize that too, but again, like, you, I, I've i never been able to get close enough to land all of the lasers. And I'm playing normal mode. I can't even imagine trying to do that on Lunatic. If you're a Lunatic player. Oh god, that was close. Okay. That was that was okay. That was okay. Whew. Shotgun missiles? What do you mean? What? She has shotgun damage in this game for missiles? Is anybody else in chat that can verify this? Are you sure? Cuz I feel like that shouldn't be the case. Because it doesn't look like that would be the case. It feels like sh it should do the same amount of damage no matter what your distance is. Are you sure? In Toe 17? I haven't made it to Toe 17, so I don't know what that game is like. But you're having trouble getting to Lunatic 1cc until you tried Yomu. Huh. So Yomu's always good? Interesting. ba da 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 All right. All right. Let's see how this Sega Sega fight goes. If the Sega fight goes well, then this is a this is a beautiful run. Like, look at look at my life count. Look at that. I'm on my 15 life right now. This is this is gorgeous. Gorgeous resource count. My goodness. Is Sega staying away from me? Sega. There we go. Oh god, am I gonna get that life- I'm not gonna be able to grab that life piece. It's okay, I've got plenty of lives. No! Oh god! Shit! I did. I didn't think that I was gonna hit me. I thought I had. I thought I had so much space, dude. That was ridiculous. How did that hit me? Frick, dude. Okay, whatever. I've got a lot of bombs. I need to make sure I use them. One death is fine. It's not good that I died, and I ended. I still had to use a bomb, dude. Sega's actually like cheating this time. This is a terrible Sega fight, dude. What is this? My other Sega fight didn't like was flawless, and now now I'm gonna have problems. Just focus on Sega. Don't even need to worry about Yoshka. Just do damage on her. Okay, thank you. Well, it's a good thing I might be getting my 18 life because... Uh... That means that I'll be getting my... that Because I just lost a stupid-ass life there. That was dumb. Ridiculous, man. Out of the way, Yoshka. Oh god! Dude, okay. Oh! God dang, dude. Alright, that was not a great fight. 
We we did that pretty poorly, but at least I came out. Whew! Imperishable Knight Yomu is hard to aim, in your opinion, but it's fun. If you focus, she fires straight, though, right? No, in- well, which game? In- in Imperishable Knight? In Imperishable Knight, you, uh, you have a tag team system. It's, uh, Yomu and Yuyuko. So if you focus, you get Yuyuko's spread shot, and if you unfocus, then you use Yomu, who has the little ghost things that follow her. Yomu's busted in stages, and then you get the resources to take bosses, that's why she's so good in 1ccs, but not so much LNBs or LNN. Ah, interesting. Okay. Alright. This is a good run regardless. Like, I- I- I was- I did the first three stages, like, flawlessly. So even though this was a bad Sega fight, like, this is- we're still on pace. Like, this is actually still beyond pace. Like, even if I took another death, this would still be pretty decent. This would still be a pretty decent- well, not decent, but this would be, uh, doable. The only thing is I'm at three power, which is, um... Gonna be kind of hard to make up for, but... Oh god. I can't grab any of these. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to pass up on these resources. Without trans, I can't pick them up. But that's okay. If I don't die, then I can make it to, uh, and, and make it- If I can just focus on not dying... Easier said than done. Frick, dude. Alright. <sighs> Perfect. Grab that. Thank you. Let's not die. If I need to use a bomb, I need to use a bomb. It's fine. It's fine. Especially here. Oh my goodness, that's so scary, dude. I wish the, uh, trans would last longer than that, man. It doesn't last all the way through that entire section. Mmm. I almost think it's better, like, I, I know... It's hard to set that up because I kind of want to destroy the first wave and then use trans, but then you have to kill everything before the stage ends, which is really hard to do. But anyway, I don't think I'm making it to my 18 life, which is really sad. And it's all because I didn't carry a trans into the next- into the- into stage 5. So, I mean, 
because then I would have been able to get quite a bit of resources from the beginning, and then I would have transferred the end as well. I also didn't do the end correctly, so there's that. If I did do it properly, I probably would have been able to do it, but it's whatever. I have plenty of I have plenty of resources. This is this is more than doable. <sighs> You, I think the enemies spawn earlier if you kill the enemies on the first wave so you can get more use of your trance. Is that how it works? Well, that's what I get for not practicing the stage. Oh well. Either way, I did so I I really, really, really daredevil the first two the first two stages. So my resource count is looking fantastic anyway. So it, I don't really need to worry about stage five anyway. I, it, stage five, if I tried to really focus on stage five, I might... I, I might make a mistake, and it's easier to make a mistake on these harder levels, so. <sighs> Game mo works mostly on that way. I see, I see. Alright. Let's pray for a good Mononobe fight, guys. I am I'm praying for a good Mononobe fight. Wish me luck. I've been having really bad luck with everything. Well, well actually, no. Actually, I've been playing really, really well, but then screwing up because of like if you watch the vod you'll see what happened it's 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 unfortunate dude a lot of these a lot of these failures aren't even because i died or anything it's because uh it's because i came in with not enough can we do boat perfect all right good boat good boat Alright, am I gonna have to bomb this this time? I didn't have to last time. Might have to. Ay 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 ay. That was too close for comfort. I probably didn't have to, but that was uh like I mean it we were almost about to finish that non, but I was gonna get hit by the arrow if 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 it didn't despawn and I'm I didn't want to chance it. I don't know how long it takes for the bullets to despawn after you after the non is done. Can I fit? 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 Okay, cool. Let me squeeze. Ooh, god, that was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. Okay, good. Okay, there's a yellow line in the middle. This is a good Mononobe fight so far. I had a good bomb, so that's good. Good? Wow! Alright, this is perfect. This is a this is a perfect Mononobe fight so far. I had the I had the one bomb. I think that was it. Come on. Woo! Almost, I almost hit the bomb button there, but it wasn't quite close enough. All right! Let's go! Final stage. Look at this. Look at this. We got this. I might not even have to have to use the technique of um, of dying to recycle, recycle the bombs. We might just be able to dive in. So that means that we actually literally can't screw up, <laughs> which is a huge relief, honestly. Oh, all right. Oh, man. Oh, right when people are starting to show up, too. Thanks, guys, for being here. All right. Let me stretch out real quick. All right. My hands are still cold. But we got this. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Final stage. Let's do this.
You mean dying to article lasers? Totally unneeded? I haven't even been dying to it! Last time- la the last two times, I think I captured it. Or no, no I didn't. I did die to it. Uh, the second- the uh, second time. But, no, like, you- you- like, what's ha what keeps happening is I don't- I end up- Like, so the technique is that I go in with- with, uh, seven out of eight life pieces. That's the- that's the technique. Right? So you do the stage in a way so that when you get to Mika, you have seven out of eight bomb pieces. And then when you get the last spell, you get the bomb piece after you die. Because when you die, you it, it, it puts you at uh it puts you at two bombs. Right? So you get the last bomb piece after you die. So you get the last bomb piece after you die. Or they, that, at least that's how it's supposed to work. So that you're, it puts you at three bombs. Genius! Supposed to work like... Effortless. Makes it so that you don't have to basically do an entire no bomb run on Miko. Alright? Here's the thing though. There's... Th here's the thing. There's a lot of caveats to this. There are a lot of caveats. Number one, the w the first time I got here, I captured. I captured the second to last spell, so I ended up like, I so I had to take a death. So I ran into Miko to take my death so that I would be able to die and then pick up the life piece and then pick up the bomb piece so that I would be able to, you know, get to three bombs. Unfortunately, I still had trans. So when you die, it activates trans mode and you grab the bomb piece and it gives you the bomb while you're in trans mode, but you haven't died yet. So it doesn't put you at three bombs. It puts you at one bomb. And then you die, and then you, and then you get put your two bombs, and so and then I had to reset, and then the second time I didn't even I don't think I even make I didn't even make it. No, I didn't even make it to the. Uh, I'm sorry, no, I didn't even make it to the second to last spell, because on the washing machine spell I was at seven to eight bombs, and she spawned the bomb piece on top of me. Putting me, giving me a bomb, the bomb when I, when I, when I wasn't ready for it. Both times, I had more than enough lives to actually complete the run. It was stupid, man. I should already be done with this. Ah, <sighs> think I'm getting another life? Yeah. So Miko gives me one life piece and one bomb piece for each of her extends. She has six extends, so that's six life pieces. So yeah, I'm getting another life. So I have six, I'm gonna have five lives, I'm, I'm gonna have four bombs, I don't even need to recycle bombs, I'm not even gonna bother with that. We're not recycling bombs, it's too dangerous. I've been fucking that up. So we're just gonna, we have enough bombs for me to use four bombs, and then when I get to three bombs, we're done. So let's go. Alright, wish me luck! I mean, I shouldn't- I shouldn't be able to fuck this- the only way I'd mess this up is if I actually fail the run. That's the only way. At this point. I actually captured it, wow. Interesting. I'm also gonna get another bomb, which is pretty crazy. Ooh. All right. One bomb down, three more.
Okay. Come on. These balls make me really nervous. Because their hitboxes are a lot bigger than, than they would seem. Okay, thank you. Good. Alright. Just gotta be relaxed. Calm and concentrate and focus. Concentrate and focus. Concentrate and focus. Concentrate and focus. Okay. Alright, good. That was some good micro dodging there. This spell can get bad sometimes. It depends. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it through that. I might still have to bomb, though. Okay, cool. All right. I, I forget what's next. Oh, the knives. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I've been doing well with the knives lately. Let's see what happens this time. What? <gasps> okay, all right. We didn't get the knives this time, but that's okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. This takes way too freaking long. Thank you. Woo. All right. One more life piece and I get a life. Eternal Meek coming up. Coming up. Oh my god, this is an amazing run. I, my Miko runs don't usually go this well. Holy crap. Oh! Oh god! Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We have one more bomb, we have one more bomb. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, we're not, yeah, wait. One more bomb? Yeah, we have one more bomb, we're at four bombs. So we can use one more bomb. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Nothing stupid. The last spell's basically free. Okay, that's my last bomb. No more bombs. But I do have trans. Ooh, okay. That's fine. Should be it. Should be it. It's over. It's over. It's just over. There it is. Look at that! Look at that! Five lives! Five lives! Suck my dick! Suck my dick, Miko! Oh my god! Give me all that trouble. Frick, dude. I bet you I could do Sanai right now. Holy crap. That took me so long! Why did that- Somebody explain to me why that took me f four full attempts to finally do. 
I'm so mad. I'm I'm still I'm so salty about that. That 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 shouldn't have taken as long as it did. You'd also like to do Sanai? Okay, F fun funny Bamdi, funny Bam Bamdi, good one Bamdi. All right. Uh, thanks for the GG, Kevin. Oh my, dude. God, I... Uh, is that a UFO? I don't even want to see this UFO, man. Right? Like, when I was doing Marissa... Like, you, the 1cc with UF, in UFO with Marissa B. Like, that... That was really, really hard. Like, genuinely difficult. Okay? I was really struggling. It wasn't just the UFOs as much as I complete. I, I, okay, for, okay, it is the UFOs. The UFOs are freaking annoying, all right? But it, the other thing about it was UFOs is just a really hard game. Like, it's 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 generally tough. Like, show's patterns are no joke. Byakuren's patterns are no joke. Ten Desires, it, this, this game feels so, like, I don't know. When you eventually cover up endings, can you play a Rickroll? Yo, yo, that sounds, that sounds pretty sick. That, good idea. Good idea. <laughs> Toha, what? Toha? Why is Marissa dancing around in a strange outfit so early in the, oh, I didn't even realize she's wearing a weird outfit. What is that? Is that a shrine maiden outfit? What is the secret of Taoism? It is immortality. Oh, okay. I can see why Byakuren, who is a Buddhist, would hate, um, would, would, would hate Miko then. She only borrowed. Yeah, Marissa only, Marissa doesn't steal, she borrows. Ending number four. She'll definitely get tired of this training soon. This is the parallel ending. Congratulations. Let's go. That, I'm, I'm glad that. To finally be done with that, but there is still one more shot left, and it is Sanai. However, if you were paying attention, did you see how many lives I had left? I had five lives remaining. I think that we're gonna have no problem beating this with Sanai, do getting the parallel ending with Sanai. I, I, you know. Knock on wood, all right? I don't want to, like, I'm basically asking for the universe to jinx me, but, like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I've also learned what not to do, because in this run, I learned, you know, <laughs> I, I, I learned that you need to die on the second to last spell if you're going to recycle your bombs, and you need to... Make sure you stay away from Miko at all costs if you're going, if you're at seven out of eight bomb pieces. So, I should not make those mistakes again. <laughs> Hopefully, if I make those mistakes again, then that is 100% my fault and I, there's something wrong with me. And I, I will feel really dumb. And you, and you will laugh at me for it. <laughs> Oh man, famous last words. I know, right? Dude, look at this. I have less, look at the slowdown. The slowdown rate is 0 0.2. That is, that's amazing. Look at that. Last, my my first 1cc with Marissa, I had a 1.1% slowdown rate. And now I'm playing windowed mode and I have less slowdown. So I don't know. Fanny told me that if you're playing full screen, that you get less slowdown, but I don't think the- I don't think full screen or windowed mode has any effect. And I much prefer windowed mode. Windowed mode is a lot less tedious for me. Alright, only one more. Only one more, guys. And that's it. <laughs>